Notice being their informal self. Oh, yeah. My informal guitar. You mean we're on? Are we on the air? We're on the air. We're on the, we're on the you air. Know what I, you know how we made our instruments? Yeah, me and We didn't have our own instruments band. today, so we have these that were sewn out of uh, Holiday Inn towels. <laughs> so here we go. Yeah, I think it's on fret. Was it one, two, three, four, five? Four. Yeah, yeah. Set, yeah. Okay. You got it. Yeah, okay. All right, here we go. You better explain to them what our situation is with our instruments. They're probably wondering if they just came in at a pie supper or something. <laughs> Chinese fire drill. Well, why don't you, Mitch? Why don't you go right ahead? Hey, yeah, well, I'd be happy to. We found out uh, when we got to Cleveland that we were supposed to do this radio show, which, of course, we'd look forward to doing, but we thought we were going to talk and play the album, and our instruments were all shipped on down by air freight, and they went straight to Kent University, so we didn't have anything to play with. The people here have been running around like mad getting us together instruments, which are sort of interesting. And Dean's I, the only I one had his, his own instrument because he carries it around like a toothbrush anyway. Yeah, I have a, 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 a Framus banjo. Mm -hmm. I thought and they made oil Framus. filters. <laughs> they do, yeah. That's made out of an oil filter. Yeah, they and, and old one. Too. Right, he's got a pretty good guitar, but he's yeah, never played it before in his life. And I have an interesting bass. This bass has a, a neck uh, very much like the uh, tongue on an old wagon back home. <laughs> we're the Dillards, incidentally. We're all from. For a or like we're all from uh, Salem, Missouri. It's a nice color, though, isn't it? Sort of blonde. Yeah. I'm not yeah. used to that. One thing I'd like to say before we go any further is we'd like to thank De Fiore's music and Ed Stein music for just coming to the rescue. For we certainly would. Yeah, yeah. Bless really. their respective yeah. hearts. Yeah, the last tune you did was from uh, your Wheat Straw Sweet album, right. wasn't it? Right. Nobody knows. Right. Let's hear some more. <clears throat> sure. Uh, yeah. Let's yeah. do. Uh, yeah. Should we meet everybody first? You suppose? Uh, well, sure. Sort well, of we blind. Heard, Playing yeah. the mandolin is uh, Dean Webb. Finger also line. known as Fingers Webb. Billy Ray Latham from Strawberry, Arkansas on the five-string banjo. It does have five strings on it. Uh, so. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Good. Yeah. Okay, we're all right. And, of course, it's Rodney Dillard playing the guitar, singing the lead vocals. My name is Mitch Jane, and we have our drummer leaned up in the corner like an old push broom <laughs> because we have no drums. We tried to get him to maybe rap on Rodney's head or somebody wouldn't do it. Okay, what would we, what you like do, to do? Let's uh, do uh, Hey Boys. Okay, you it's like to? playing oh, the oh, schoolhouse oh. back hey, home. Uh, yes. wait, wait a minute, i got to see if I can get this thing in tune here. It's in there. Yeah, take your time. 
most of our music, for those of you who've never heard us before, and at the moment probably don't give a rat's knuckle if you ever hear us again, is about our part of the country, and almost all of it we made up ourselves about different... Everybody back home had interesting relatives like Rodney's uncle, Genital Dillard, and, and uh, Billy Ray always had a, a thousand different odd uncles, and yeah. of course Dean's uncle Wimpy and seven. So we, we'd we make up... If Dean's uncle Wimpy, we wouldn't be here today. The one that uh, died. I guess so. Dean's, Dean's uncle, this is true, when we, when we started out on the road, Dean's uncle had died uh, a month previously. He was run over by a team of hogs, and <laughs> he, left us, Terrible accident. he left us his fortune, and... Uh, <laughs> We hadn't ever, of course, had a sum like $324 before, and we ran all through it in about, oh, about the first year, I guess, didn't we? Right. Had to go to work playing different nightclubs doing songs like this. So we've always sort of uh, looked back to Uncle Wimpy and remembered how this song is sort of dedicated to him. It's called, it's all about Ozark people that don't want to do anything except lay around and vote for Nixon. This is called The Hay Boys. Uh. It's right there. Yeah. See, what's what key it? is it? I'm used to playing a, a ceased tuned bass, and I'm trying to figure out where it is on it. I'll find it. You guys go ahead, and I'll let my thumb Stick hang free. Stick with us, folks. After this, we have our famous tablecloth that glows in the dark offer. Right. <laughs> we'll sell you a dodge. <laughs> We went up to Gold Hill, Colorado about a month ago, and we played for a bunch of school children. We have a lot of friends up there. And they said, why don't you go over and play at the school? And it sounded like a good idea. And that time, we did have our instruments with us. So we went to one of these, it's the last one-room schoolhouse in Colorado, and we went, went, just went up and sat up in a corner and picked for all those little kids. And we started thinking of different things to do for the kids. And of course, they weren't exactly making requests. Most of them were listening to Mother Goose primers and different things. Of course, by the time we left, they were smoking dope. I mean, it was... Uh, but, uh, oh, no. yeah, we played... We, we hadn't done that for years. It was like going back to an old-time pie supper. Why don't we do something a cappella for them, Dillard? The, like the thing well, we did for the kids that day. spread out here, but I guess we're spread out like a coon hide. Mm. We can do it, though. Mm. 
<laughs> what, what note was that? Mm -hmm. the, I heard mm. the three stooges hit that note once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. very Yesterday, much. you say, mm. Oh, boy, that's going to be low. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm holding it. I like can't hold it much longer. <laughs> Will you please hit the song? Yesterday, mm. love was such an easy game, game to play. To play. to hide away oh i believe in yesterday suddenly take it mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm not half the man i used to be, used to be. why not there's a shadow hanging over me oh yesterday came suddenly why she had to go, I don't know, she wouldn't say. I said something wrong, now I long for yesterday. Yesterday. Well, we're a very tight professional <laughs> music group, you can see that. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Well, okay, let's man, see. Why don't you play one on the banjo? Yeah, play what would you, one on, yeah. On the banjo. run one on off. What do you want to do? I don't know. Uh, why don't you play in Billy the... Ray's our Arkansas thrill boy. Uh, everybody that comes from Arkansas plays the banjo and, and does very little else, I might add. You know, I tell somebody who's been fortunate enough and advanced culturally enough to move up from Arkansas to Missouri, they always have scars all over their face and learn to eat with a knife and fork. I think it's about time we pick. Yeah, okay. Play. Uh, 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 what uh, key are you in playing? playing? That uh, was uh, like key two. Yeah, that's key two. Yeah, that's key two. Key two. Where would that be? Uh, what do you want to hear? I want to hear, uh, I want to hear Tennessee. Yes. Ten yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, that's when we start off yeah. with. All yeah, right. yeah, that's yeah, that, 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 okay. okay. Ray, you're precious. <laughs> Okay, here we go. <clears throat> One, three. for five minutes. I don't want to. Go right ahead. <laughs> well, you might as well because on, we're going to be searching in. around. Jumping into our saddle bag of songs, sure, what do you guys do some find of the, next? Uh, the new things for the people that we're doing now. Yeah, roots and branches. Uh, yeah. Do you have anything? Seeds and stems. Is there anything from that album that we could do? Uh, yeah, well, we could do Last Morning. I'd like yeah. to mention, by the way, the Roots and Branches is the Dillard's latest album. Oh, yeah, on uh, Anthem Records. And uh, run out and buy it today. <laughs> In Grove. Folks. Um, did you told them that we're playing over at Kent State, didn't you, or did I? Uh, you just said that. And I yeah, we're just giving you a little taste here, neighbors. And uh, if you come over, we'll just uh, throw the whole bag at you when you get over there, because we have all of our equipment. Uh, Dean, for instance. Uh, he carries a trained seal with him. <laughs> yeah, right, and, and Billy Ray Juggle. Now, Dean has a, an attachment for the mandolin. It plays it through a Leslie speaker and does a lot of the fill-in things that we had on the album. And Paul has an octave of chickens he plays with a ping pong pad. <laughs> Very good at it, too. Goes through more chickens than you can imagine. Eh? <laughs> Should I tell him about this song or you want to just do it? 
Yeah, I don't care. Oh, we probably ought to... This is the first time, I guess, it's been done here. For those of you who saw the movie, who is Harvey Kellerman and what is he? what's his problem? Uh, <laughs> no, the, there was a song in there written by Cell, uh, <laughs> Shell Silverstein. Shell <laughs> Silverstein. Oh, Shell whatever. Shell Filling Station. <laughs> wrote this song. By this time, I can yeah. tell you my name exactly. But at any rate, uh, he wrote this song about what happens when rural guys go to the city, which is something that we... We left Salem, Missouri in 1962 and have run into nothing but nerds <laughs> and, and problems and things since. Uh, people not accepting you for what you are and not wanting to let us be except anything except what they had in mind we should be. Reedy, oh, you boys are Reedy. rural, ain't you neat? <laughs> what a what? <laughs> they wanted us to get up and play flinch on stage and show each other our wallets and stuff. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we were rural, but we weren't terribly backwards and we went to new york one time and we lived Saw ferris wheel Go we on. lived for uh, <laughs> for two weeks at in an apartment in greenwich village up on the fifth floor and this song is sort of about what happens we'd never lived on the fifth floor anywhere <laughs> and two weeks by the time two weeks i had big old strawberries on my elbows from tripping over winos because <laughs> you know people are used to looking for winos because they're always looking i was looking up at the tall buildings and i just falling over <laughs> And we weren't used to little apartments, and, and we, you know, we didn't take a bath for four days because we couldn't find the bathtub. We were tidy <laughs> people, but we discovered it was under the kitchen table. That's the way they do, you know, in those uh, five-floor walk-up things. And one day, Rodney turned his, uh, the table over because he didn't like the grub, and we discovered <laughs> there was a bathtub underneath it, and we all took about nine baths. But at any rate, <laughs> Shel Silverstein wrote this song about what happens to a, a country guy who comes to the city to do anything and the way it affects him and the, the way it shocks his soul and stuff. And we'd never written anything like this. We liked his better anyway. It's called Last Morning. Can you clap your hands on this, Paul, or beat yourself or do something? <laughs> beat on that box over there. Sure. All right. Rodney needs you, Paulie. Yeah. Do rhythm with your little pinkies on the box or something. <laughs> Can you hear me all right in there? Just go ahead and hit that box. Watch the sandwiches in there. Don't yeah. hurt those. Yeah, don't, don't hurt them sandwiches. Okay. Something you might get to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Take I it. want silence. Take it. Thank you. 
Just Thank you. In case you just tuned in, we're with the Dillards on our mid-morning coffee break. And uh, you guys have just really been doing an incredible job with uh, borrowed equipment. I really, I'm really freaked out by it. It's very good. Thank you very much. We're a little freaked out by it, too. <laughs> <laughs> I just broke my most precious fingernail. Goodness. It's like, uh, I don't know, there's something about using somebody else's instruments and just sitting around in a little room that really carries you back. Because we've done this a lot, but it was before we started doing radio stations. <laughs> a long time before. We ought to do something like Ebo Walker. Want to? Yeah, why not? Wait, let's do let's it. Let's uh, hold it right here in the old Oh, and yeah, another relative song. That's really neat. We had to... Uh, Rodney had an uncle. In Salem, Missouri, is one of those little bay towns down home where moss grows on the north side of people, sort of. <laughs> and we had... When you're a little kid, you know, whatever neighborhood you live in, city or country or whatever, you, you have people you look up to. And Rodney's uncle was a, a drunkard. He, was a, uh, he wasn't a wino. He was just a drunkard. You know, hell, tractor radiator alcohol, whatever. And we all looked down to him <laughs> because that's where he always was. <laughs> Lying on his back up there at the corner of 4th and Main. He used to learn to recognize people by their ankles and stuff. <laughs> So we were all sitting around, two or three of the sons, like, hey, boys, we all made up ourselves. And this, this afternoon, we were sitting around thinking about, talking about different people, Sonny Redman and the, the local police chief and all the different ones back home, thinking who we could write a song about. And I, why in the world we never thought of this old man before uh, it escapes me, because he was a professional drinker. He's a fiddle player. He used to play around play parties and church suppers and stuff when they could prop him up. <laughs> yeah, but the rest of the, you know, his fiddling was just really mediocre, but man, could he drink. You know, he, he'd started drinking professionally. He was about six. He started in on things like ink <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> worked his way up in high school to things like Texaco Sky Chief and whatnot. <laughs> and what this song's about, I want to especially do this for these guys out there in the studio who have been putting up with all this stuff. This is sort of enjoyable. I can't have a drink. I can talk about it. This old man died when he was 62 years old. He went out in the back porch of his house down in the Ozarks just be, it, be, before breakfast. He was going to go out and have his own instant breakfast of wind's friction proofing or whatever. <laughs> and he tossed off a big uh, slurp of it and went out to the privy. And while he was out there, he died. <laughs> and, you know, Ozark people aren't really terribly swift on, on the uptake about things like that. About the second or third day, his old lady got uneasy about him, you know. And they had three or four little Bufords running around the house, and she ran one of them out to see what had happened to Daddy. And the kid came back, you know, f he found out, came back and told it, like Ozark kids generally do, sort of colorfully. He said, he's, the old man's out there just stiffer a woodpecker's lip. <laughs> he, he'd right. been dead three days. You know, he's the color of old cheese and different things. <laughs> Silly food. And luckily, it was chilly weather, and he kept really neat, you know. <laughs> and they uh, they hauled him into uh, to town, which wasn't easy, because he's all sort of bent, you know, like sitting in a chair sort of a thing. <laughs> yeah, you just rolled up front seat of the hearse with everybody else. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> with his arm out the window, you know, just like he's reaching for a catalog or something. <laughs> oh, God. Now, that's the only reason we knew he was dead. His eyes were open. <laughs> but anyway, they got him in there. We had one funeral home in town called the Blackwell Warfel Funeral Home, and they buried him with the, the pomp due to, you know, the, the town's one professional boozer. And uh, they laid him away in the Salem Cemetery and dump, <laughs> where he killed every living tree for 100 yards around, <laughs> resurrected a couple of old folks in the next plot over. Wilted it, all those little memorial flags they put on the graves. <laughs> <laughs> right over. Anyway, we made up a song about this old fool, and we're going to do it for you. It's called the Ebo Walker. That's close enough. What the heck? <laughs> uh, I should know, shouldn't I? What 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 key is this in? Well, you have your comb and tissue paper. Maybe I don't have any. Do I? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Right there. This is really funny. I play a string that has a C, a bass that has a C string on top and no E string. All of a sudden, here's this, <laughs> this oh. thing I never even heard of in my life. <laughs> well, and that, if I'm going to play it, let me tune it a little bit. I want you to know I'm suffering. <laughs> okay, you guys just lie into it. I'll find a place here somewhere. You ready? You yeah, guys go sing? <laughs> it's there. That's real good. 
Would you call that? <laughs> yeah. I would call that several things. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ready? Right. Pull so. yourself together, please. Wait a minute. <laughs> Zip up, Bill. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Don't make me eat now. Okay. okay. Evo Walker was a good old man. That's one of the things. You have six albums. People always want to go back through and pick out ones earlier, ones that you, you know, as your music progresses, you start finding other things to do. You don't play them very much anymore. I don't think we've done Pretty Polly for like five years, have we, Rodney? Yeah. You don't remember the words either, do you, Rodney? And you couldn't play if you did. No, that's right. Well, should we? All our record people disappeared out there. Of course they did. <laughs> <laughs> they no longer have a function. <laughs> oh, oh, good, yeah. Andy's, Andy's still hanging with us. in there. He ought to be. <laughs> Got to have some sort of support. <laughs> yeah, I wished I had my, my my fuzz tone here. Might as well make use of this and say this is WMMS in Cleveland with the Dillards on our mid-morning coffee break, and this is Shauna. And, th and this, this mid -morning is Mitch. I'm going to give the weather in yeah, a minute. What do you do out there on a mid-morning? What do you really do? Well, do you sit down and you drink <laughs> coffee and you reflect the day? And break. <laughs> 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 Dishes, children's heads, <laughs> records, probably ours. Uh, I don't suppose there uh, people that tune in late, we're playing with uh, instruments that are not our own, and so we're limited. Let's not have all those cards and letters coming in, folks, because there's not a damn thing we can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> don't you want to ask us about our earlier years or, or about problems or anything? You don't? Oh, certainly. Oh. <laughs> all, of, all those things. I mean, I'm just listening, and it's really incredible just listening to what you have to say, so go right ahead and tell me. We, this is our second time in history in Cleveland, Ohio. The first time we were here... We played a club uh, called Farragher's Lounge with Bill Cosby. And that's been about uh, maybe five, six years ago, because Bill didn't have a record then or anything. Ricky Bill, was out there every night. Yeah, Ricky <laughs> certainly was. We were the uh, we were the the big build act, and Bill Cosby was our second act. <laughs> what happened, guys? Where did we go? <laughs> I don't. I don't really know. I asked him the other day, and he didn't remember either. But it was really funny because Cos didn't. Uh, he couldn't get him to laugh. 
And we couldn't either. And I thought we were just being hysterically funny. I think it's because we were so, we were hysterical anyway. It's easy to laugh. But he finally left his jokes, his stories, and everything, and just went and sat down in the front of the stage with a microphone, sort of twirling it. He said, now, what do you dudes want to talk about anyway? You're not interested in what I'm talking about. We, we, we had two weeks of that. So that's my memories of Cleveland. It rained every day, too. So it's nice to be here under different circumstances. And yeah, I know that. I haven't seen it yet, but I know it's <laughs> shining out there somewhere. We understand we were, it is. We, we took the tunnel from the airplane to here. <laughs> what, do you, what would you like to do? Do, 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 do yeah, them yeah, yeah, want, want to pick another? Yeah, let's sure. pick another one. Yeah, oh, what, <clears throat> what do you want I to do? I might get you used to this badge on a minute. Okay. Here goes the Strawberry Arkansas Flash and Fingers Web on the Mantle, and one called the Dueling Banjo. Oh, wait, I plugged this. In this tune, Dean will attempt to set up a little musical hoopie, which Billy Ray will attempt to uh, not only repeat but embroider on. And both of them end up just getting so munged up they don't know what their names are, usually. They will attempt from the perspective frame of reference to join in a mutual cosmic musical grope. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Something very down. close to that. <laughs> well, that string, I had to tune it four times. I wonder what that means. What that mean? The bass has been asleep. <laughs> you wonder what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm greasing my strings, folks. <laughs> Get it, Billy Ray. Okay. Wait, Wait, I, I, yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Go, right. Danny Weenie. Judy, you got her, Mitch? Judy can over the heck out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the hats on cage? <laughs> That's the way it sounds to me, too. You guys didn't have to hear what I heard, though. My third string slipped and, and, and ran down. I don't know what note I was hitting. Oh, it sounded like a moose call. Don't hold that crazy. Why don't we just do acapella Dillard so that I don't get so hot? <laughs> well, okay, what would you like? Let's do the I'll Fly Away. Some glad morning when this life is o'er I'll fly away, fly away in the morning to my home on God's celestial shore, I'll fly away, fly away, I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away, fly away. 
away in the morning. By and by, hallelujah in the sky. I'll fly away, fly away, I'll fly away. What did you start that in? Anyway, I was going, crash, <laughs> jet in trouble. <laughs> yeah, you suppose we could do, a, that's getting us in a religious bag. In a what? In a religious bag. Oh. Why don't we do, a, a St. Peter's going to putt me okay, up. Can yeah, we do that? Oh. I don't know if I can get this banjo in tune for that, but I'll try. Well, we can stagger if, along through I that. May, I may, I may break a string. Let's see, let's step on. We have, we never done any gospel songs till about. What happened to our girl? I don't know what happened to her. Shana. Oh, hi. <laughs> she went on the other side of the glass, guys. Is it getting rank in here or something? I don't know. We've been doing gospel numbers ever since she left. <laughs> We've never done. You know, our part of the country is famous for for gospel singing, and I think Ohio <laughs> and Illinois are too. You remember that gospel group we used to have back home? Which which one? Curly and Clyde and Bobby, the Sweat Brothers. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Just drip and save all Sunday morning. Drip, drip and save. But you could always tell. But, you know, kids would listen. We'd have those gospel quartets that come through town, and they, it'd be a big thing. It would be really a big thing. You know, all the little kids and old people and everything went to them. Because even if you didn't like the music, there was always a chance you'd get healed or whatever. And we went, you know, uh, to see those things when we were little, too. And we got turned off on ever being a gospel group. I don't think there was ever any danger of this because gospel groups, like you can always tell a guy who's going to sing in a gospel group when he's like eight years old, they have a little thin mustache. <laughs> always wear a little blue shiny suit. Yeah, with a handkerchief in his yeah, pocket, you know, sticking out about this. Any, any kid who's eight years old who, who wears a handkerchief in the Ozarks anyway, I mean, while the rest of us are sleeving it. <laughs> You know, I, don't, I forget what grade you're in when you're when you're eight. That you're in about the third, aren't you? But by that time, you know, all of us, you know, our our, our sleeves looked like concrete casings. <laughs> <laughs> you could kill somebody with one of those. Ha! You know, just drop the whole like. At any rate, uh, we'd never done a gospel tune until these two kids from Colorado came out. They were they were a, a couple of uh, you know freaks, and they came out <laughs> and and stayed with us for a while, and they wrote a song specially for the Dillards. This was specifically for us to do. I couldn't believe it when they first did it for us. It was so neat that we did it. It's called Saint Peter's Gonna Put You Up. Oh wait wait. I heard there's something about playing a guitar and there's a price tag. <laughs> <laughs> I just always feel I'm on the brink of something. Oh, I can't, I can't get that. Oh, yes, you can. Of course you can. Hum that note. You'll be all right. <laughs> if the, if, if a given signal, Paul will hit the cardboard box and it'll sound exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> You can do it. <laughs> no, I don't intend to ever do that again in my life. You know, I borrowed instrument. To hell with you guys. Oh, pardon me out there in Radio Land. They'll probably, this thing will be so full of bleeps, but.
I just barely didn't find that. Me too. Hardly at all, but I staggered around it, and I was helped from above. <laughs> uh, gosh, let's see. What what is what else have we got in our uh, saddlebag of songs? Did she rip off my ashtray too? Yeah. Shame on you, Shana. No, took my one ashtray. Over here, Mitch. Hmm? There's one over here. Going back to six albums, Dean, can you think of anything that you would particularly like to do in Cleveland, Ohio this afternoon? Get out, get out on the road. Get out on the road. <laughs> That's going to be a little hard to do. Sure, with your banjo and me with my uh, mm -hmm. left-handed bass. Oh. Yeah, I can sing it. Yeah. Uh, what can we do? Let's do... Uh, I what feel like I'm back in grade school. I, I, I'm not in tune for anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, so there you go. That's been the story of this whole performance. Say something while I can think of something to do. Well, I'm trying to think. Polly, what would you think would be a neat thing for us to do? Realizing, the, I just want Paul to talk because nobody believes in the drummer. We just woke him up. <laughs> Look at those muscatel fumes rising from him, guys. Isn't that yeah, interesting? Right. Well, he's better off than he was when we found him anyway. Oh, yeah. Whew laying underneath that freeway overpass out there. Like an unemployed troll. <laughs> <laughs> Got snail tracks on his eyes. I still have my card, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, he was selling the uh, free press in Los Angeles. He'd stolen out of one of those vending machines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, not, that's very untrue. We played for uh, five years without a drummer and probably would still not have a drummer would not have uh, discovered the need for one, but we were watching Paul uh, on uh, the New Year's Day parade they have out there, the Rose Parade in uh, California, and Paul was playing on the Preparation H float. <laughs> and it was so much like what we do <laughs> that we Get just talked about. Nice <laughs> I'm kidding, Shauna. It's perfectly all right. Okay, what are we going to do now? Uh, no, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Okay. Uh... Uh, <laughs> we're gonna. Uh, 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 we're gonna have the. <laughs> well, well, what are we gonna? Do? We could do listen to the sound. Okay, let's do listen to the sound. <laughs> 